this is Erica Mazuda, Doctor of Physical Therapy and Founder of Recover. Erica recently did a video on the best sleeping position. And after that video, I thought to myself, well, what would happen if I slept in the improper sleeping positions? What issues could pop up? So I wanted to have Erica revisit the proper sleeping position, and then I'm gonna ask her some questions on what could possibly happen if I sleep on my stomach, sleep without a pillow, etc. So give us an example of what the best sleeping position is. So in that last video that we did, I really showed um, sleeping position if you're on your side, how to set it up if you're a side sleeper, putting a correct tight pillow underneath your head um, and also putting a pillow between your legs because it keeps your spine neutral. So here's my, my spine. So neutral spine is basically just meaning that it's straight, not that like your side bending this way or that way. So the proper sleeping position, even if you're on your back too, is gonna to be that you're in that neutral spine position, which is still proper height pillow. And then typically with a, a pillow underneath your knees so that your legs aren't totally straight. All right. So what about those of us who sleep on our stomachs? What issues could pop up with doing that? Yeah, so there's a few things. So stomach sleepers could have anything from neck pain to shoulder pain to back pain. So. The neck pain is going to come because you're going to have to typically turn your head to the side in order to be able to breathe, right? And so your cervical rotation like that comes from C1 and C2. And so people can start to develop pain in their neck and then they wake up and they, they're limited in that rotation motion. Um, also, what will happen too is that some people, because like I always sleep on my left side, so if you always rotate your head to the same side, then the rotation to the other side may become limited. Um, that can also cause some nerve compression, so you might wake up with, you know, some tingling and, or numbness in your fingers. Um, but that also could be related to the shoulder position of sleeping on your stomach, because a lot of people tend to do sometimes something like this, or they, you know, they kind of have their arms lay up. Their hands yeah, lay with their hands out. Yeah, and so that can also cause some stretching and compression um, in your brachial plexus, which could cause some uh, hand or arm numbness, uh, but also can cause shoulder pain too. I get a lot of people wake up from those positions; they just have in the shoulder joint. Now, the other thing is being on your stomach, you know, if you're flat on your stomach, that puts you in spine extension, which is kind of like you're, you're leaning backward. So this would be, you know, spine extension. That's an exaggeration, but that can also pinch the nerves in your spine. So sometimes you might have leg or foot numbness or tingling from that as well. All of that from sleeping on your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best <laughs> position. So, yeah. <laughs> so what would happen if someone only slept on one side with no pillow. So what uh, what problems could arise? From so I'm a, I'm a left-sided sleeper all the time. And so I do have a little bit of a bulging disc in my neck. And if my pillow is not the correct height, so me sleeping on my left side without a pillow or a pillow that's too small, is kind of like doing this. So it's like your left side bending all night. So I can tell immediately if I need a, a bigger pillow because once I get in that position, um, it will pinch my ulnar nerve, which actually makes my last two fingers numb. So, or sometimes I'll wake up at night and my hand will be numb and it's because maybe the pillows moved a little bit out and I wasn't in the proper position. So um, that's, you know, you can get a lot of hand numbness that way. Now I also have a pillow between my legs. I do have a couple of bulging discs in my back. Um, and if I don't have that pillow between my legs, it's the same thing. It's like my lower spine is, is bending, which can also co cause nerve compression. And then I'll feel that numbness in my foot. So. So essentially, you just want to keep that spine in line. Yeah, you want to keep it line, straight and line neutral because that's how you're not compressing the nerves. Because on the spine here, you can see these little things coming out. Those are the nerves. And so anytime you're you're bending to one side, I'm compressing the nerves here on the right side. Mm -hmm. Or if I bend the other way, it's the left side. So yeah, you want to try to keep that spine straight. And that takes the pressure off your discs too, which are, are in between the vertebrae. So yeah, it's going to be the most comfortable position. So in your experience with treating patients who do not sleep in the proper position, mm -hmm. how long does it take uh, to adjust and feel comfortable sleeping in a neutral position or the best position? Yeah, it can take a while. I mean, especially if I have a person that's trying to add a pillow between their legs, it, it's what I find is that they usually feel comfortable with the pillow between the legs, like it'll take the back pain away, but they can't stand like at night, you know, they're not used to like if they're trying to move over or flip over, that the pillow's kind of getting caught in the sheets, um, you know, or they have to get up to go to the bathroom and put it back in. So I find that most people, it, it takes about a month. Um, and then sometimes too, people don't have immediate relief of their pain. 
And so yeah. that also can be a, a process of a few weeks in order for the pain to actually go away. Mm -hmm. But I try to encourage people just to stick with it because, I mean, we do know that when you're in that neutral spine position, there's going to be less pressure on all areas of your spine. So that's it's going to be better in the long run. All right. Thank you very much for all this information, Erica. I appreciate yeah. it. Stay tuned for more videos from Recover.